Is it normal for a boy to like football? Is it normal for a girl to like pink? Is it normal for a man to marry a woman? How can these things be considered normal when so many of us are no longer stray down these paths? I'm a girl myself and I like green more than I like pink. I know lots of boys who'd rather be inside making TikToks than out in the field getting dirty playing football. And I, the, the only wedding I've ever been to is when a woman got married to another woman. All these things are normal in my experience of life. I grew up in a house with two mums, which was normal for me. And I knew my living situation was different from my friends, but I didn't care. Another thing people find hard to understand about me is that for 12 years of my life, I had two sisters and one brother. But two years ago, that changed when one of my then sisters felt able to become my brother publicly. And he finally decided to tell us after years of battling with himself. There's nothing wrong with my family, but others have different views. I've both been verbally and physically attacked by kids in my school, all down to the fact I have two mums and a transgender brother, because some people out there still see LGBTQ plus people and think that they're wrong when they're not. So what's normal to me might be completely different to what's normal for you. I live in a house with my two mums, my, my two brothers and my sister, but you could live with just your mum or just your dad or your grandparents. Simply by saying that it shows that normal can't have a real definition because normal is different for everyone. And how do we have the right to decide what's normal and what's not? The word normal is often used to discriminate against the LGBTQ plus community and it is why it's so important that LGBTQ plus should be taught in school so all young, all young people like us know and understand what it means to be LGBTQ plus so when we grow up we know that normal can mean so many different things. Currently, only one in six of us are educated on what it's like to be in a non-binary, same-sex or transgender relationship, and that simply isn't enough and we need to be, know more. I know some people will say that if schools start talking about LGBTQ+, it will make young people like us think that we're bisexual when we're not, but that view simply isn't, be, simply isn't true. But being taught that some boys are into boys and some girls are into girls and some boys and girls are into both, it's simply just educating us that there's so many ways to go in life than what would be generally considered normal. With the statistics of one in 16 people are LGBTQ+, it furthers the reason of why it needs to be talk talked about more in schools. It's hugely important for all young people like us to know and understand what it means to be gay, bisexual, pansexual, etc., and to understand what our sexuality is and and know others that are different. Failure to be taught about this can lead to people going up into the real world and not understanding. And they won't, won't know that it's okay to let people around you know who you are and who you want to be. And we need to be reassured that our sexuality is not something that we need to hide or be scared of. And that we can let people around us know who we really are. Things that are said in school stay with us for life. So any negativity or discrimination from others can either drive us to stick up for ourselves or make us hide away because we're scared of how people are going to react. It is true that there are more LGBTQ plus students in schools than there were 10 years ago. But some students still feel like they can't come out because they already know how other students and adults are going to react because they don't properly understand. For example, one of my friends is gay. And he's only ever came out to his closest friends because when a rumour went around our school that he was gay, it devastated him because of how people started treating and staring at him. He has since continued to hide himself away, only letting his close friends know who he really is, which he shouldn't have to do. He should be allowed to be himself. People try to belittle LGBTQ+, by saying, oh, it's just a phase, you're just a tomboy, you're too young to understand, and you're just confused. But everyone has choices, but some choices have already been made for us, like how we feel about ourselves and our sexuality. Sexuality is something that is different for every person, and it's the one thing that the world hasn't got to decide for us. Turn back to what's normal. Normal is whatever you want it to be. Don't let anyone define who you are as a person. Be who you are, no matter what your sexuality. Be you, be yourself. I want to finish by leaving you with a few questions. Firstly, for teachers. How are you supporting LGBTQ plus people that you work with? And how are you and your school working to support or for people to accept others that are different and educate against discrimination? Lastly, for my peers, do you feel as though you can walk through your school corridors and be accepted for who you really are? And if not, what can you do to change that? 
It's clear that we all have a role to put a in making a positive change in society. My role is to be stand here on the stage and share with you my story. I now invite you to yours. Thank you.